Hello. Yes. Why the state is terrified of British nationalism. That's right. But before I go any further, just consider this. Just look at the time, effort, money and manpower the state and its two criminal proxies, Hope Not Hate, Nick Lowell's, Jenny Gable, says that magazine, have put into derailing British nationalism, as well as then uh, as uh, creating the pantomime and circus, the sideshow, the comedy sketch in its place. Just look at the time, effort, money and manpower gone into it. It's enormous. Let's take the BMP. There must have been at least, I believe, at least one to two dozen major agents working 24-7 in the BMP to bring it down and take it from Nick Griffin, which unfortunately they did, but that's been covered before, I suppose. And also, look what they've done to UKIP. They've done the same there. They've had their agents in there from day one. Mike Hookham, uh, Jared Batten, Stephen Wolfe and many others, no doubt, right? And then when the time was right, they've been activated and they've uh, betrayed Nigel Farage and stabbed them in the back. And look how, how long that's taken them. All that time. And that shows you how determined they are. Or should I say how terrified they are of British nationalism. Let me put this to you as well. If a new nationalist party, sensible, practical, realistic, electoral winning New British, National Party, British Nationalist Party was formed, right? I believe it could win back at least, if not more, 50% of the council seats the BMP once held. And I'm telling you now, the state would go into meltdown. It would have kittens. It literally would. And the support we would have overnight would be enormous. We'd be back up there, right? Big hitters again. The state terrified going into meltdown and having kittens, right? But this time... Were forewarned and forearmed regarding the modus operandi of the secret state and its two criminal proxies. Hope not. Hey, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, says that magazine, right? We would be in such a position, given what we know now, the state would be, it would, it would be in a panic. It literally would. And you see, for anyone says, well, we can't get win power by the ballot box. I'm not saying we can. What I am saying, while we can win council seats, let's do it. Because then we are in control of our communities, aren't we? Of course we are. Wherever we stand and where we win, we're in control of that community as opposed to some semi-paramilitary force patrolling the streets or something or whatever it is uh, Nick Griffin has in mind. I, I don't know. I'll have to wait till he rolls out his manifesto. But you see where I'm coming from, right? And look at the golden opportunities we've missed and also the time, effort, money and manpower the state put in to make sure we did miss these golden opportunities. The Dover truckers, Christ, the support we could have and should have won in Dover would have been enormous. So what happened? The state sends its spy down there. Hope not hate spy. Paul Pitt with his army of angry heads and fighting Antifa and just squandered and ruined a golden opportunity. The same after the Manchester Arena bombing. What happens? The state sends its agent Tommy Robinson down with all the angry heads and it's just wasted and squandered and the people just walk away because they don't want nothing to do with it, right? So look at the time, effort, money and manpower our enemies are putting into this. Right? It's enormous. And that's because they are terrified of British nationalism. You see, I'll tell you what they're not terrified of. Posting Barbara Spector videos. And um, while I'm on the subject of Barbara Spector, don't you think it's a bit obvious what she was saying? It's like as if she wanted us or whoever wanted us to attack her. Do you get me? You know, we're going to be at the forefront changing Europe and it's not going to be a monolithic society much longer. It's like as if, as if it's for us. Go, look, it's out the horse's mouth they're coming out they're admitting it now it's like as if they want us to attack these type of people isn't it of course it is right so we're falling for it you know 
And it's like with the Tommy Robinson Road show, all the Scooby Doo's that keep popping up, uh, you know, that are supposedly being uh, so supposedly behind him. They want us to attack them as well. You see, to believe the security services aren't involved in it would be naivety at its worst because they must be. They wouldn't have no foreign power controlling him on British soil. He's part of them. Hope not hate said. Like, trust me. Yes, and there may be Scooby Doo's in the background. Right, but they want us to attack them as Scooby Doo's. Same with their uh, Bob Respect, did you get me? So the state is terrified of British nationalism. Well, we've only got to, we've just got to start realizing this, right? Get our act together. Let's get to organize. Let's start winning council seats again. That's the first step forward. Get the council seat wins, get the support, get our message out there. I'm telling you. The state will be in meltdown and indeed would have kittens. Okay, thank you.